Welcome to the Pulse Capsule, here's your regular catch-up for everything that's been happening in New Eden. The loyalty to LOSEC update to Faction Warfare and LOSEC Space is now live in EVE Online. The limited time increases to warp speed in LOSEC and the increased PvP loot drops in LOSEC are also live and will last until the 6th of April. Along with the major LOSEC updates that have gone into the game this week, there are a couple of quality of life changes requested by the community that have gone in as well. If a war ends because the attacker failed to pay the war bill, then a one-way force piece from attacker to defender is created. Also, war HQ structures will now have a reduced armor reinforcement period of 24 hours, giving attackers a realistic chance of taking down the HQ within seven days. One of the most iconic ships of New Eden, the Avatar, is receiving a major visual update. The new look Titan class Amar vessel will be in the upcoming trailer for Quadrant 2. The new quadrant will also include more meta changes, updates, events, login campaigns, and a whole lot more. So make sure to subscribe and keep an eye out, just so you don't miss anything. And now we're going to try something new on the Pulse. We're going to head over to CCP Convict, who's waiting for the school bus. For over five years now, Capsulier Mike Azariah has been operating a program in New Eden called Operation Magic School Bus. Its purpose is to give new Capsuleers a leg up in the game by providing them with fitter ships and some friendly advice. Mike joins us now to talk a little bit about the program. The Magic School Bus was formed when the This Is Eve video came out as a response to give the tidal wave of new players that were coming in a hand up in the game because we kept saying don't undock with what you can't replace but new players can't replace anything so we thought We'll give them a fitted ship, show them what fitting looks like, show them what a real ship looks like, and give them a little pat on the head and send them off on their way. Have you ever lost anyone on one of these Magic School bus rides? Not yet. I've come close, but everyone who's gone in with me has come out so far. Is the Magic School bus strictly for noobs, or could you take a more pro player along with you? You know, someone like me. Any pilot can. I've taken pilots in who were just one day old. So does the Magic School bus just travel around to the rookie systems and help people out? How do, how do new players find out? The bus hits all of the career systems in all of New Eden, Amar, Calderi, Galente and Minmatar. So the best thing to do is keep your eye open in local if you're in a career system or watch Rookie Help Chat. If you see me there, ask, where's the bus? So let's pretend I was a new player. If I wanted to join with you, would I need to bring my own ship, or would you be able to provide one for me? When I hit the career systems, I will broadcast in local that the bus is here. Speak up, dock up, be less than 30 days old, and I'll give you a ship. If you're over 30 days old, I probably have a BPC for you. But giving out free ships to new players must get expensive. How do you, uh, how do you pay for them? Where do all these ships come from? I am supported by a lot of the veterans of the game who trust me to do what I say I will do and give the use ISK or materials donated to uh, give to the rookies. So I there's a running joke in the bus that says I will keep doing this till I run out of assets. It's five years now and I haven't run out of assets yet. So Mike, exactly what happens on one of these Magic School bus rides? Well right now we're doing a thing called field trips where we take where I offer the rookies, if they've spoken up in local when I'm in a career system, I'll give them a chance. I say, I will give you a ship. I will take you into an abyssal pocket. I will not promise your survival, but I will give you a chance to see a part of the game that you might not otherwise see for a long time to come. And this gives them a chance to see the game and see what can be done and what a small fleet is like. That's interesting. But did you know, EVE Online's New Eden store is offering 10% off one month of Omega and three skill extractors with a new limited time bundle. Available only until downtime on 29th of March, unlock access to all of EVE's ships and skills with Omega and respect your skills with the use of skill extractors. Alright, here we go into Abyssal Death Space. Dead Space. Dead Space. Activating now. And heading in. Okay, there's only a few of them. Kill them all, let God sort them out. So, free fire. Triglavians won't know what hit him. Okay, I'll broadcast a target on the first one. Open fire when it's in range. Okay, approach gate, and then we'll wait for his go through. Yeah, relax, Mike. It's fine. We got plenty of time. The spaceships can kill you, the boundary can kill you. 
but greed will absolutely kill you. If you're gonna go wandering, I'm gonna leave without you. Yeah, no problem. I'll be there in a second. Like, I, we've got plenty of time, and trust me, I've, I'm a pro at this game. I'm gonna take the gate. You catch up when you're done. Yeah, I'll just get, like, give me a chance to find out what loot's in these cages. We've come all this way. Time travels differently in this kind of space. Relax, Mike. I'm not one of your new bro players who don't know how to play Eve. Five seconds. Last weekend, the third installment of the fan favourite Twitch vs Eve event took place. We're going to head over to CCP Aurora, who's going to give us a summary of what went down. This past Saturday, we saw a fantastic showing for the third installment of Twitch vs Eve. We had over 60 Twitch streamers, all in a massive fleet alongside CCP devs. We went out into the galaxy, caused mayhem, and even got some CCP devs on their first ever capital kills. I'm done. Fuck. I didn't realize I was getting shot. It was a ton of fun, we hope you enjoyed it, and we hope to see you again on Twitch. Finally, we want to thank our legendary Capsula community for always coming through when their collective strength has been needed. We encourage you to stay safe and to look after each other. Stay connected, in and out of game, and be there for each other at a time of potential loneliness and isolation. Fly safe.